And next, it's time for the heavyweights. Derek Williams has joined us as Vladimir Klitschko prepares to defend his title in Germany. And as Ian Dark reminds us, this is his chance to show the world why he is the heir apparent. Long after Lewis Tyson and Holyfield have ended their heavyweight seniors tour, Vladimir Klitschko is the man most likely to be king. Or so most boxing insiders think. The multilingual Ukrainian is waiting in the wings for his main chance. He may be ready right now. On the end of this year, we can, we can have more chances and more possibility to fight against big names like Holyfield, Tyson or Lennox Lewis. Klitschko, still only 26, holds a win over the current IBF champion Chris Bird. He's also beaten fallen stars like Franz Boter and Ray Mercer. And last time out, he punctured the dreams of American hopeful Jamil McClyne. Tonight, it's another respected veteran in South African, Corey Sanders. He's a pretty good fighter. And, uh, of course, on the press conference, he said that uh, it's his last chance. And uh, if somebody has the feeling that it's his last chance, he will give everything in the ring. And I'm prepared for that. And that's why I will give my best uh, to give no chance for the opponent, for Corey Sanders. But Vladimir hasn't convinced everyone. And remember, Sanders has been on the fringe of world class for years. But at 37, how much has he got left? And will his fragile chin pass the test? I'm very confident. I train very hard. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. And, uh, you know, this is make or break for me. I'm 37. It's uh, in boxing terms, in heavyweights, it's close to the end of my career. Uh, but I'm, 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 like I said, I'm confident. I want to win. And I believe in myself. I'm quick enough. I've got the power. But tonight, expect Vladimir to keep his WBO title and send another message from the Klitschkos to Lennox Lewis, who seems reluctant to meet the cream of the new generation. The people sometimes saying that he afraid. No, he he's uh, he's a fighter and he didn't afraid to fight against us. It's just simple, simple uh, illusion and um, simple to understand because it's too risky to fight against us to lose the fight. Number one, and uh, of course we are not famous enough to bring more money for him. But they are getting there. We expect a fantastic atmosphere in Germany. Let's get inside the arena. Glenn McCrory joining Ian. Well, there's always something of a pulsating atmosphere when Vladimir Klitschko fights here in Germany. It's a sellout again here tonight. What do you think he brings to the party as a world-class heavyweight, Glenn? Well, I think he's very like Lennox Lewis. He has a, a similar style. He's a similar size. He's got that long, that good jab good power and like Lennox who's Olympic champion I like him I think he's got a, a calculating sort of style about him good technician as well but Corey Sanders 18 first round knockouts and he's been on the fringe of world class for a while last chance for him it is his last chance and I think what he what he really brings is the fact that he's a puncher you know and that's what he's got he's got a puncher's chance I don't think it's gonna be enough it would be an absolute sensation wouldn't it if Klitschko got beaten they're talking about Sanders fighting Evander Holyfield on Robin Island where Nelson Mandela was in prison if he wins this but I bet they're not very concrete those plans yeah I bet they haven't signed the contracts yet I think he's got a, a big a big test here and this is gonna be tough for Sanders Sanders who's got a golf handicap of one I think his real boxing handicap here will be that he's 37 years of age no more. back to front and he has a very very high-tech training regime as well including diet I give you instructions I want to obey my commands at all times Punches here are good. Punches 17 good. stone four, Klitschko. 16 good stone you, for Sanders. No surprise there, though. I think the South African just carrying a bit of condition, isn't he? Yes, a little bit, but you can forgive him. The, the heavyweights often do. By the way, Lennox Lewis phoned up Corey Sanders last night, I'm told, with a few tips as to how he might go about beating Vladimir Klitschko. Not that Lewis has been in the same ring as him, other than in the... Uh, film Ocean's Eleven, and that wasn't for real, of course. We'd love to see the real thing, but there's no real sign of it at the moment. Ready? I think, uh, Lennox Lewis may be fighting Tyson again. Off we go. First round, WBO heavyweight title, Red Trunks, defending champion Vladimir Klitschko, the white of Corey Sanders, who does have this punch and has a habit of knocking out people early. But he's only had three rounds in three years, Sanders. That would be a worry. He's going to try and get his jab off early. That's, that's a key. If he can take away Klitschko's jab, 
then you've got to give him a, a chance of getting into this fight. Klitschko looked a very thorough technician last time out in dismantling the hopes of the American prospect Jamil McLean, forcing the stoppage late that night. With left hand there by Sanders, fighting out of the southpaw stance. Vladimir has beaten the top southpaw in Chris Bird. But this might be something a little bit different. One thing Sanders will be is very, very knowing. He's been around this game, not only in fights, but in gym sparring with top heavyweights for year after year. He always used to be pretty quick, too, with his hands. Yes, he has got fast hands. Thanks, quick left. Just pushing that out. Klitschko reaching with the right hand and not getting there. He was just troubled by a little left early on from Sanders, which came as a timely reminder. Looking for left hand, but instead, nice jab. And listen to the fans respond to that as Klitschko gets that little confidence put in. Then, with some real devil, and he's hurt by that left hand by Sanders. Just dropped his right glove, and Sanders took advantage. Well, well. Some drama there. I think it is the speed of Sanders that is troubling Klitschko. Just picking one or two holes in the Klitschko defense. Rocking the head back of Klitschko. And he's got him in the left hand and floored him. Goodness gracious me. And will he get out from that left hand? We might have a sensation here. Vladimir Klitschko all over the place. Just about clamors to his feet, is blinking, eyes in orbit, and now it becomes a battle for survival. Corey Sanders has got him again. He's got him again. This time he's up very quickly, looks cut as well. There are only seven seconds left in the round and the bell cannot come quickly enough. Are the hopes of Vladimir Klitschko about to be demolished here? He's got through the opening round, but what incident, what drama. Very, very nearly knocked out in one in what would have been the biggest sensation in many a year. Well, certainly would have been. What a good punch. The fast left hand giving him so much trouble. It really was out. And if the bell had come any later, this fight would be over. Great start for Sanders. Look at that, that fast left hand from the south pole, and down he goes. Maybe that was the tip from Lennox Lewis. Well, whatever Lennox said, it worked, but the speed, a good start, quick start, and what did we say about the punch power of Sanders? He's always got a chance. He only just about beat the count. And here, huge holes have been knocked in the reputation of Vladimir Klitschko, whatever happens now. Second round. Sanders will fancy here that he can score a knockdown, and he's got him again! Straight left hand this time! Down he goes for the third time already, and this is early in the round. This looks like curtains for Vladimir Klitschko. It's going to have to be stopped, I think, because Klitschko is rocking and rolling all over the ring. He goes down again, and it is stopped all over round two. That is one of the biggest turn-ups you will see in a boxing ring in a long, long time. Well, unbelievable. The South Africans behind us are celebrating, frantically jumping all over each other. Corey Sanders, with his speed, has pulled up what looked a very difficult task and absolutely destroyed Vladimir Klitschko. It was his last chance, and my, how he took it. Mass celebrations. Nobody, but nobody would have predicted that. And all the hopes and pretensions of Vladimir Klitschko have been blown to smithereens here. The crowd are stunned. I don't think anybody among the hardened boxing observers 
including our colleagues from America who thought that Vladimir Klitschko was the next big thing. They cannot believe it. I'm not sure I can either. <laughs> well, he did it so well. It really was. The hand speed was the key. He said 18 first round wins, almost had a 19, instead a second round win. Can Corey Sanders believe it either there? was another left hand, and those were the punches that did it, bang, right through the middle. And really, whatever happened after that, there was only one winner. Rocked to the core they are here by this. And that's going to send reverberations right the way around the world heavyweight scene. And what an eventful three weeks we've had. Tyson with a 49 second win. Roy Jones's amazing performance last week. And now this veteran Corey Sanders comes in and blows away Vladimir Klitschko. Only the second time he's lost in 40 second fight. But Glenn, where is Vladimir Klitschko now? Well, he's just been totally exposed, hasn't he? Really, really hard, but let's not take any away from Sanders. Yeah, yeah. You know, he did it well. He counted you know, perfectly with the left hand. He was prepared, and he really has just put a, a tremendous shock into heavyweight boxing. Let's put this in perspective. There are a lot of people in this business who've been going around and telling me that Vladimir Klitschko could beat Lennox Lewis right now. Well, they were saying it up till about six minutes ago anyway. That's right. But look at the way he dismantled him. And he just fell apart. Such a big man crumbles. In case you're still having to pinch yourself at what you've just seen, Vladimir Klitschko was knocked down four times. They are speechless in his corner. George Foreman cannot believe it. And he delivered a few knockouts of that kind in himself. And of course, he was the victim of one of the great shots in uh, Kinshasa Zaire in 1974 against Ali. But well 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 <laughs> he couldn't have happened to a nicer guy than it Corey, though it could such a, a nice guy talking to him yesterday plays off one handicap in golf he realized what he was up against he knew this was probably his last chance and he just said i'm gonna do it i'm gonna get it and then hopefully get me in with lennox lewis he just seemed to struggle with the south paw style he didn't seem to know where the left hands were coming from okay he'd beaten bird but bird's a technician sanders is a hitter he struggled with the the speed when you've got that sort of speed with that speed with that sort of power then it, it means trouble i think that's the biggest upset in the heavyweight division since uh, evander holyfield beat mike tyson when he was something like 18 to 1. 27 seconds of round two all over corey sanders has the win of his life and that is going to be huge headlines around the boxing world. <laughs> and it really dawns on him. His manager, Rodney Berman, jumps in the ring to congratulate him. What a tremendous feat. And hats off to the trainer, Harold Volbrecht, as well. The former welterweight, South African flags flying in the arena. This is not what they thought they were coming to see tonight. It's not what we thought we were coming to see. But the left hand of Corey Sanders has blown away the pretensions of Vladimir Klitschko in three minutes and 27 seconds of frenetic, dramatic action. In a moment, I'm sure we're going to hear from the winner somewhere in there. I think it's Larry Merchant who's going to be doing the interview. Hasn't happened yet. No, he's still in his commentary position. Oh, is he so, right? Okay. So I think they're still anal <laughs> analyzing this this action. And look at that left hand. He was quick to seize the opportunity. He knew how hurt he was. You know, the second round he didn't come out to wait. He knew he, he'd hurt him and hurt him bad. And then he was straight on him in the second round to finish the job. It is the left hand. That's the one that gave him all the trouble. Look at the power he gets into that. Left hands through the middle. Was that the subject of the Lennox Lewis phone call last night that might have been the key to victory? Well, well Corey Sanders, or am I overstating? I think that? so. I think this is naturally Corey Sanders' yeah. style. He's yeah, got sure. eight first round knockouts, so, so this is what he does. Klitschko come to him, he let him come to him, he drew him on, 
then it was the first left, which was a short left too, it was the first one that got him. After that, he found the straight left. So the two fighters embrace. Can Vladimir come back from that? Very, very hard. He can come back. He's still just young. He's only 26. He can come back. But that, you know, he was completely annihilated there. Well, they're going to say now, aren't they? Big question marks about his chin, which haven't really shown up before. I know Ross Purity had him down, but, uh, you know, in, in 41, now it's 42 fights, nobody ever looked like doing that to him. They certainly didn't. And it was, the, you know, the way he did it. He did it cool and calm, and he just found the punches at the right time and there's a, a very happy man one of the great surprises here all smiles Corey Sanders who had a sports psychologist to help him in the build-up to this fight he was telling us to get him in the right frame of mind make sure the desire and ambition was still there and you know what they're talking about they say if he won this fight he was gonna go to Robin Island where Nelson Mandela was imprisoned and fight Evander Holyfield. It could happen, you know. <laughs> well, I'm sure it could. It really, really could. Well, he's inconsolable. Corey Sanders is trying to console him. It is all over in round two. Corey Sanders has astonished the sporting world by knocking out Vladimir Klitschko in a couple of rounds here at a dumbfounded Hanover tonight. They're not just...